Hi, Paul here for Azure Every Day. I'm a principal consultant with Pragmatic Works. Lately, we're seeing a lot of new interest in paginated reports. And I wanted to use a couple of examples to talk about what that is and what your options are for using it. So what is paginated reports? Well, had a brand new client, they're brand new to the Microsoft BI platform, and they said, we have just set up a Power BI subscription. We have several hundred users, and so we set up a dedicated capacity tenant with a Power BI premium license, and we wanna know what our options are now to implement operational or what they call pixel perfect reports alongside their interactive self-service Power BI reports. And uh, of course, paginated reports is the answer for that. Another new client said they just learned about paginated reports, a brand new feature that is integrated with, with Power BI, but they're a little reluctant to use new software for their production operational reporting. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Paginated reports is SQL Server reporting services. Now the implementation is just slightly different, but really for the most part, you're talking about the same product with the same capabilities. What's reporting services? Well, I've been writing books about reporting services for over 15 years. I don't say that to brag, I'm just trying to make the point that SQL Server reporting services is a very mature reporting product that's been around for a long time. Now it's not ultra modern, it's not super interactive, but it's bulletproof operational reporting that is really optimized to create the types of reports that we've been using for a long, long time, namely printable reports that fit perfectly within the margins that produce multiple pages, things like invoices and manifests and labels, stuff that we've been doing for a long, long time, optimized for printing, but also viewable on a screen. Whereas Power BI is really optimized for interactivity. It's also optimized for analytics and for self-service. Power BI reports are typically more visual. When you click on something, it slices and interacts, and so it's a more interactive experience. Not optimized so much for printing and for creating multi-page reports, but for an interactive analytic experience. All right, well, you have three different options to use paginated reports alongside Power BI interactive reports. Option number one, continue to use reporting services like we always have installed in your own report server on-prem. Advantages are that it's the same product. There's a lot of experience with that. Disadvantages are that you have to invest in hardware, you have to maintain it, and you have to license it using SQL Server licensing. There are opportunities to integrate reporting services with cloud-based Power BI service. For example, visuals in reporting services reports can be pinned onto dashboard tiles in a dashboard up in the cloud. So a user can actually use that to navigate down to an operational report from their Power BI dashboard. It gives them one portal, one place to go. And then there's this perception that it's a very seamless experience, even though you're actually using two different platforms. Option number two, Power BI Report Server. Now this is an on-prem implementation of a report server that will host both reporting services reports, that's your operational or pixel perfect type paginated reports, and Power BI reports. And there may be a lot of advantages to doing that if you are restricted from using the cloud or if perhaps leadership have some aversion to using the cloud, but there are also some disadvantages. Uh, first disadvantage, the licensing is, is not particularly inexpensive. Um, you need to either have a SQL Server Enterprise license plus a software assurance contract with Microsoft, or if you are a Power BI premium cloud-based subscription customer, then you can also install the Power BI report server. The second disadvantage is that Microsoft is shipping all of their new products cloud first. That's where the new features go. The release cadence is very fast. All the new stuff goes to the cloud. It's very secure, very reliable, and it can be very cost-effective 
through a subscription-based model rather than products that you purchase and you install and maintain on your own. And as new features come out, they're going to go to the cloud first, and then the release cadence is much slower to get to uh, on-prem. And a lot of those features may not ever make it to the box or the on-prem product. So all the good stuff is up in the cloud. Option number three, using paginated reports in the Power BI service in the cloud entirely. No hardware to buy, nothing to maintain, everything is up in the Azure cloud, you simply pay a monthly subscription fee. Now, it is a premium only feature right now, which means that the cost is going to be a few thousand dollars every month. And that's typically cost effective when you have more than just a, a few hundred users. With that, you have the ability to, of course, deploy and manage Power BI reports, share data sets, uh, in a dedicated capacity tenant with lots and lots of features and capabilities. And then alongside that, you can also deploy your own paginated reports that are authored in very much the same way that we've been managing and authoring uh, reporting services reports for many, many years. And then there's lots of integration capabilities between the two. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below.